Next week, Sam plays more Legends of Ocarina of Time. Last time we defeated Ganondorf, and this time we're gonna go back in time to episode 12 because of failing in uh, microphone stuff. Uh, and I'm gonna look like I have different items in it, all that. Uh, this time we're gonna continue on looking around Long Long Ranch, and uh, we're going to then go do some bomb tree bowling. So this guy, I can't believe that I, the great Ingo, am working on this dump of a ranch. Because the owner is so lazy, I always have to do all the uh, you have to do all the work around here. I, the hard-working Ingo, should be in charge, not that lazy bum Talon. By the way, Ingo and Talon look like Mario and Luigi when they're next to each other. Ah, uh, there's some cows in here for when we do some stuff in a minute. So let's go do that and like learn what cows do in a second. Ah, uh, but the first or second or whatever thing I'd like to do f with this is actually roll into this tree here. And I'm gonna be right back because I just found my cat in here and he wants to get out because I closed the door and stuff. Okay, I'm back. Let's get the skull to us. And now, we're going to go into this huge thing here. So let's do that. Lots of horses everywhere. And over here is Melon from when we went to the castle the first time. Oh, it's the fairy boy again. I heard that you found my dad. How did you like the castle? Did you see the princess? Hee <laughs> hee. Dad came uh, home in a hurry after you found him. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh yeah, I have to introduce you to my friend, Fairy Boy. She's this horse. Her name is Epona. Isn't she cute? And then Epona runs away because you're sp scary and stuff. Uh, it seems like Epona is afraid of you, Fairy Boy. And let's talk again. My mother composed this song. Isn't it nice? Let's sing together. It's kind of like Saria with Saria song. Uh, but now if we bring out our ocarina. Oh, cute, uh, oh, cute oc ocarina. Are you going to play with that ocarina? Okay, this is the song. Which is kind of like a reverse, like, almost like a reversed, uh, Zelda's lullaby, but it starts with the, up, uh, C up, instead of, uh, C right. But anyway, if we play this, we can now spawn out everything. Ah, uh, you've learned a poet song. Also, Kepora Kepora in just a second. Because of looking at the footage of the episode before, we're having to edit this because of reasons. Anyway. Our opponent now follows us around because opponent likes opponent's song and stuff like that, so yeah. Anyway. Now, we're gonna go to this tower thing in the back here. Okay, so in here, there are some cows, and I'm, oh, I don't have that empty bottle right now. So if you have an empty bottle, basically you can play a opponent's song, the cows will be really happy and stuff. And in fact, I'm going to like, probably do it, this anyway, and I'm, I'm not going to get the reward for it. Uh, but if you play a opponent's song next to a cow, they'll be happy, and they will give you some milk. Uh, what a nice song, it reminds me of the pasture. That song makes me feel so good I can produce a lot of milk. Oh, that's too bad. If you want, had something to put it in, I could give some to you. So, the milk, if I haven't mentioned already, it recovers health, and yeah. But, yeah. Anyway, now there's these uh, milk uh, boxes over here. I don't know why you'd have milk in boxes, but apparently you do. In the land of Hyrule. So let's move it a bit out of the way so I can get behind them all. Because if I can get behind this last box in the corner here, there is a hole back here. And inside that hole is a piece of heart in the corner thing. So I'm going to just quickly grab that. And there we go. Now I'm going to leave the ranch. So see you guys outside.
Ah, but we're gonna go this way. I wonder if Saria knows anything about the other spiritual stone. Okay, then let's try that then. So if we play Saria's song, we can actually talk to Saria. So, you want to talk to Saria, right? Yes. Blue Toad, this is Saria, can you hear me? Are you collecting spiritual stones? You have one more to find. You mean the spiritual stone of water, don't you? The great Deku Tree once told me that King Zora, ruler of Zora's domain, has it. Do you want to talk to Saria again? No, not really. I know what I'm meant to be doing now. Because we are going this way. Towards that one open spot on the map. Out of many. Oh well. I can stuff. Wait a second. There's one thing I'd like to do first. Now that we have the bomb bag, I'd like to go in here. The bomb chew bowling alley. Zzz. Huh? What? Oh, a customer. Welcome to our cutting edge amusement center. The bomb chew bowling alley. Do you want to know what you can win? Well, it's a secret. I can't tell you until you've paid to play. It's 30 rupees per game. Do you want to play? Yes. Okay. Aim for the hole in the center and let bomb chew go. That seems like a mistyped thing. Ah, uh, you get 10 tries. Ready? Let's bowl. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's what you can win. Start. Okay, so we have to pull out our bomb chews, which is like a type of bomb thing that moves forward and stuff. And it can go up walls and crazy stuff. Uh, but we have to try and get it into the hole on each of these places things. Uh, I'm sure that failed. No, it didn't. Okay, then. So there's three rounds, three holes you have to get into. But each time it gets harder because there's stuff that gets in the way of the bomb because it blows up instantly if it touches them. So let's see if we can go now. Don't roast the chicken. Okay, so as you can see, the chickens will get in the way as well as that spike trap. You have to wait for the perfect moment to get past them, and then have it ruined by the one at the back. Now let's try that again. Please move out the way, chicken. Oh dear. And now, oh dear. Please, 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 please. Yeah! Win! Winner, that is. And we get... A, you got a big bomb bag. You can now carry more bombs up to a maximum of 30. Do you want to play again? Yes. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's what you can win. Start. I almost forgot, here's what you can win. Piece of heart. That is the final prize. I'm like so good at this now for some reason. Please move. Nope. It's always those chickens that get really annoying. I think I got both of them. That's impressive. I guess. Ok, 
Okay, move, chicken, move, chicken, move, chicken, chicken, wait, move. Thing. Okay, four bombs left. Palm trees. Come on. No. Oh. There's a little dent in the ground where the ch second chicken is. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, that didn't work. I'll just wait a bit longer for this last shot. Please. No! Oh! Do you want to play again? Yes. Down a piece thing. That was bad timing. That was also bad timing. That was also bad timing. <laughs> Just wait a bit longer. Just wait a bit longer. Okay, now. No. Nope. Oh, that was still good. Okay, now. Chicken move, chicken, chicken move, move. Okay, I got the heart piece thing, winner. Here it comes. Okay, there we go. You got a piece of heart. Do you want to play again? No, I'm... I'm never coming back here again. How did I lose all my rupees, I wonder? Hmm. Anyway, now that that's done... I'm going to run away screaming. So now we're going to go to that place I was trying to go to before, where I decided not to, and then go somewhere else, and go somewhere else, and then go somewhere else, and then go somewhere else, and then... Yeah, just, just yeah. Also, I should probably... Ah, uh, oh dear, it's too late now. I'm gonna, uh, I was going to get some rupees at the gate, but then I, then I failed. I, my plan was to use all my rupees I kept using in a minute, but I can't now because I don't have all my rupees because I'm playing that game over and over and over and over. But anyway, moving on, I guess. We're going to be going to Zora's River. Also, I'm going to cut this grass because I need rupees. I need rupees. I need lots of rupees. All the rupees. All the rupees are mine. And we can also collect magic jars now to refuel our magic. And that just shows that. We can get it from grass pots, etc, etc, etc. Hoo hoo! Looks like you've gotten bigger and stronger already, Blue Toad. Just ahead lies Zora's domain. The Zoras serve uh, Hyrule's royal family by protecting this water source. Their do door will not open for anyone except those who have some connection with the royal family. Let them hear the melody of the royal family. Hoot. Hoo hoo hoot. Okay. And with that he flies away again. I think there's some other things I should have been doing then. I'm just remembering everything now that I've moved on. Why is that? Why do I just move on and then I remember something? Anyway, there's a few things we can do on this path. In this journey. And all that. To start off, we're gonna blow up our way into Zora's domain. I, can, I like how Zelda this feels to blow up something with an item you can make. You can only get in a dungeon before, so the stuff that. 
I'm just dying here. Don't worry me. Don't, don't, don't worry me. Don't, don't, I, I can't. I can't even words right now. Well, anyway, moving on. There's yet another one of these soft spots and soft dirt patches. There. Chomp, chomp, chomp. How about some magic beans? They aren't selling very well. How about 10 rupees for one piece? Okay. And we got a magic bean. So if you want to borrow something, I just skipped over the text. Uh, but as like we buy them, they get more popular. Well, they're not very popular that popular yet. How about 20 rupees for one piece? Okay. And so we get magic beans again. If you want to plant beans, go around and look for soft soil. Chomp, chomp, chomp. So, soft soil, you say. Well then, I guess that means this soft soil right here. So we can plant these beans in the soft soil that there is everywhere. I failed already. Oh, no, I didn't. You can get to here. You meant to, like, jump across this, though. Uh... But I'm gonna go back for this cuckoo right here. Actually, let me just check something. Just, 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 uh, just so I'm not crazy. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna take this cuckoo, and we're gonna fly away. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this cuckoo here. And we're gonna move slowly, go up the stream, I guess. Ah, uh, but up there you can see a piece of heart, and I'm gonna get it the way I normally get it. That is. You know, just like cheating and all that, but you know, that's that, that that's not this like that's not bad or anything. But if you let go of your cuckoo right there in midair, you can then pick it up again and you can jump across to here. Now I'm gonna grab you because I'm gonna use you later. And I'm gonna what, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna throw him up there and I'm gonna come back to him later because I'm gonna do something else first. Nope, that's not what I was trying to do. If I can manage to... Oh, some frogs are looking at you from underwater. If I can get onto this thing up here, this log. And then stand on this little platform here. If I, just you know, making sure I don't fall. Now if you bring out your ocarina, these frogs will jump out. And if we play them a song, they will jump with the, the song. Which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. But every time we play of them, a new song, one of them will get bigger. Young lad, you play the ocarina well. Hmm. That melody is fi so fine, Ribbit. We all should practice it, Ribbit. Take rupees as a souvenir. If you come up with another nice melody, please drop by and play it, Ribbit, Ribbit. So with that, they give us a 50 rupee, and, you know, that's pretty good. We'll probably go back and buy some more of those beans in a minute. But that's it for this episode. I'll see you next time when we continue on in Zora's River. See you guys then.